Hey, everyone, we got a really, really special gal in front of us right now. Um, do a little introduction of you, Tara, you can. Uh, hi, I'm Tara Trainer. Um, I just graduated from any university. Um, I was a pitcher there and yeah. So you're kind of like a big 10 girl. Mm -hmm. So kind of a good league to be in in America, right? Yeah, for sure. One of the better ones? Mm -hmm. So how did you like your experience with Shonda? Shonda's going to hear this, so you got to be nice. I mean, uh, Coach Sand's awesome. Um, she's a really strong personality and knows what she wants and wants to go after what she wants, and I really appreci appreciate that. And um, I had a good time learning from her um, the past few years that I had her. So um, the fact is that the, the dirty stuff we know about her, you don't want to say that on air, right? <laughs> There's nothing nerdy. Oh, I'm just kidding you. I'm just kidding you there. So tell me, your dad and mama, your dad was a kind of an influence on your softball life. Tell me a little bit about that guy. Um, yeah, so I think my dad kind of just really got me into sports. Um, started playing like a lot of sports when I was younger and did pitching. And um, he got me into pitching because uh, he pitched for baseball. Um, so yeah, uh, started there and just like, kept going with it. And so your dad was kind of your mentor until you were like gone from the house, right? <laughs> yeah. And then when, when you left, they got a raise in pay. They got, they got freedom. Tell me about your mom. We just love her. Tell me about her a little bit. Uh, she's funny. She um, really cares about the people around her and really wants to help anybody out that she can in any way. And um, So you really... don't want to be anything like her, right? That's <laughs> uh, no, I love that about her. You do. You you want to be a little bit like her? Yes, yeah, that's yeah. true. I would guess that's to be true. So tell me, you're going to be flying over to the Netherlands in a really, really short time. What are you thinking? I'm pretty excited to get over there. I know the time change will be a little bit of a deal to deal with, but um, I'll get used to it. And you're staying with who? Do you remember? Yeah, the Totes. Yeah, so that's kind of cool. And Miriam, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the two of them. Yeah. So you know your team's name yet? Do you remember? Uh, yeah, Neptunes. The yeah. So you got that. By the way, there's a girl on that team. Her name. There's a few girls I know on that team. Well, more than a few. But there's one girl. I think I told you her name is Anouk. Right. Mm -hmm. She's like six foot nine. Yeah. She plays shortstop and second base at the same time. Just kidding you, but she's an absolute sweetheart. You're gonna love her. Another good friend of mine is May. She's coming to Florida to play ball this coming year. Probably mm -hmm. during your season, she's going to be coming back to America. Another great gal. You're going to love her, too. So what's your expectation over there? Um, I think I just want to come in and help the team out any way that I can and um, really just help them out with whatever they need me to do. Do they know how good you are? I, I don't know. <laughs> I think so. You got, you got a lot of video out there on you, so I'm sure they scooped that up in a hurry. By the way, your, uh, your coach is a pretty cool dude. Have you noticed that yet? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he seems really nice and awesome and a um, really great person. Yeah, you'll be, you'll be pleasantly surprised there. It's kind of like dropping an American in the Netherlands. You probably haven't really left home yet, simply mm -hmm. because it's so much like America. So are you interested in the food? Have you looked anything up about where you're going? Um, well, I stayed in Denmark the summer before. I don't know if you knew that. Um, yeah, I did. So I'm kind of familiar with stuff that happens, but... Um, I just like got a book actually about Rotterdam and I'm going to like look some stuff up about it. That's good. You'll learn quick, by the way, they are very, very okay with taking you everywhere. So <laughs> you'll learn in a hurry. And you got the blonde hair, blue eyes. You're a little bit short, five foot eight. <laughs> Anyhow, you'll be uh, one of the short Dutch girls, but you kind of look a little bit like Dutch. So you're, you're going to be good. Do you have the wooden shoes yet? Uh -huh. No. <laughs> well, they, it's funny that one year we took the girls over there and they wondered if the Dutch girls wore wooden cleats. And I'm like, oh, oh really? my. it's not really true at all. But uh, anyhow, so when do you leave? What's the date? Um, I believe it is the 26th of this month. I'll so leave. you've got a couple more weeks left. Are you practicing? Mm-hmm. Yep. And you threw last night, I heard? I actually did, yeah. <laughs> and your dad is, this morning, he's actually in bed still because he's hurting? <laughs> no. <laughs> He's good, right? Yeah. So anyhow, uh, you're going to be there how long? Uh, for about three months. So you gonna, are you a homesick kind of girl? Um, not necessarily. I mean, there's a lot of ways to talk to people back home now, like FaceTime and text. So I think 
Um, you, do, you do know your coach takes away your iPad and iPhone. You do know that, right? I'll get it at some point. <laughs> I'm just kidding you. This is just a joke. But anyhow, Tara, hey, thanks for hanging out with me a little bit. Uh, I'm going to put this up and let those people over there see a little bit more about you. So anyhow, you can now go back to bed officially. <laughs> oh, I'm up now. <laughs> Anyhow, and I will see you over there. I'm going to be over there during your stay, so I'll come over and say hey. So, anyhow. Okay. All right. We'll talk to you in a bit. Good luck okay. there, girl. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>